I think I'm just going to have Regan paint for the rest of her days because she's not very good at anything else because she's so glitchy. She, she might be a handy artist to have. I'm actually eating a bag of tortilla chips here and I notice on the lab like on the bag there's like a health notice thing and it says no artificial flavors colors or msg so okay at a glance that seems fine but i'm just looking at that sentence structure I'm like no artificial flavors clear enough that means there's no artificial flavors colors okay there are colors in it so i pres like they're yellow so i presume that means no artificial colors so you know you can assume no artificial is the adjective for this group of items. Last one's MSG, so no artificial MSG. Does that mean there's like natural MSG in it? I'm not even sure what MSG is, but I don't think, you know... I don't think that's their, what they intended to write. It's one of these things that people complain about being in food, and I'm not sure what it is. It's probably like, like no, some kind of salt or something. That would be my guess. But people will react like it's rat poison or something. It's like that thing, I think it was Penn and Teller did it, where they went around some um, organic food fair giving people handing out leaflets about the damage done by dihydrogen oxide which is water it's h2o but um yeah that oh in excess it can kill people that it covers whatever amount of the planet they made it out it's responsible for whatever amount of disasters they made it out to be like this evil thing and got a lot of people to sign a petition against it which was hilarious pretty good. I like them because they're like educational magicians. They don't try to fool you, like they give away their tricks completely at the end. They don't pretend there's anything magic about it. It is just a trick and they're clear with that from the outset. Oh, Bumblebee's maxed out his athletic skill. What skill will be next? He still has to keep this up for like another, what, six hours. Just to uh, get that achievement. Nope, no toilet. No food. Just working out. Oh no! Oh, he's a quitter. That's what he is. A total quitter. He gave up. With three hours to go. Oh, someone changed the baby. Who's around? That ah, good. Good old Bismarck. En route to the problem. Oh, it's Baxter's birthday. Um, actually, the name Baxter just reminds me of Buster Baxter from Arthur. TV show about the armadillo guy who didn't look anything like an armadillo. He looked like some kind of weird dog thing. Actually, that's something about the TV show Arthur. I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with it. You've probably seen it. I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the thing with... It's an aardvark called Arthur and he has a sister called DW and a dog called Pal and a friend who's a bunny rabbit called Buster. And, well, actually... Stopping on his dog pal. This is where we're going to get into the weird territory. Arthur has a dog, a pet dog called Pal. He also has a friend who's a bulldog called Binky. And like Binky goes to school, he wears clothes, he leads like an everyday normal life. Pal crawls around on all fours and you know eats old meat out of a can. Like he eats dog food while Binky's out stuffing his face with cake. It's like 
How does that work within their universe? Hooray, Baxter's a toddler. Are they like two different species of dog? Do specific breeds, you know, have specific levels of sentience? Or is it just that Arthur is like a, an evil slave owner? Pal is just like a fully sentient creature, like fully intelligent, could have gone to school, but instead Arthur's family like kidnapped him and put him on a leash and like drag him around the block on walks every while. It's actually really troubling. The kind of horrible society they live in. I mean, I take it the animals are like other races. Can you imagine if, you know, you were allowed to keep people of... There's a TV show for kids about people who could like, I don't know, keep Chinese people as slaves. I mean, it it would be horrible. It would not stay on the air. <laughs> Synchronized urination there from the horses. I have to remember to keep them social. Because I've already got one warning about Lady, and you know, if she goes, then I think they're pretty much gone. I wonder if I could just get rid of her. Just release her into the wild. We don't really need her anymore. I've kind of got a unicorn. Dudley's our unicorn. Lady's just the unicorn that gave birth to our unicorn. Gonna need some potty training. Baxter, yeah, good kid. Good kid, crappy pathfinding. Now, when's this new one coming along? has to be soon. Look at the size of her. Just look at her. Oh, here it is. Get to hospital. Okay. I'm hoping for some good traits here. If they both get bad traits, I'm just going to go with Baxter because, you know, he has a cool name. Jean Swan wants fish delivered to him and he calls her while she's giving birth to ask. I mean, that's a bit much. I mean, we can all, you know, understand asking for a favour. A new baby boy. Okay, what did I say? Bentley. Bentley is an eccentric virtuoso. Oh, sorry, Baxter. I, th I think you've just been beaten. He's not blue, but oh well. That's okay, I guess. I'm not going to be racist to him and, you know, give him up because of the colour of his skin. Although blue sims are very cool. Baxter and Bentley. There's a weird amount of male children in this family, actually. Bongella's been the only girl so far. That I can think of. Oh, apart from Corey. Oh, I forget. I always forget about Corey. <laughs> She's worth forgetting about. Let's see, I have to teach Baxter to walk. He's probably not going to be the one to do that. So I won't make promises I can't keep. Someone else can teach Baxter to walk. Bismarck can teach him to talk. I thought he already nearly knew how to talk. Oh! Or was he learning to walk before? 
I meant to pick talk, I might have picked walk. Meet a vampire. Oh, we can arrange that. There's one. There was one right there. Oh well. Oh crap, there was Bismarck that I had selected. Hmm. I think he is actually going to be the one to teach his kid to walk. Oh, the, the wish came back, so that's cool. Oh, it was walking he was doing before. Oh no, Bentley. In a bad mood. Um... I don't have to put too much effort into Baxter, actually. He's kind of going to get left behind. But, uh, yeah, there we go. It's turned out okay. He knows how to talk, how to walk. Will he learn the potty as well now? Yeah, not quite. Soon though. What's that shadow on the floor I see? Oh. It's Regan, the Sky Lord again. Just flying about above the kitchen with her hover feet. That's how I imagine she does it. Hover feet, feet and some sort of out of phase machine. A paradox generator. Let's not forget Bentley. He needs your attention too. Are you changing him? He's very rough with that baby. She shouldn't be the one carrying the baby. She um, can't interact with him. Actually incapable of it. Oh wait, we have bills to pay. Ooh, uh-oh. That was close. Could have ended up with more repossessions, and I don't want that again. Actually, Baxter's getting tired. Oh no! God, will you get lost, Aunt Bernice? We don't want the bloody imaginary friend toy for the kids. Just leave us alone. Stop posting us these unwanted gifts. She's like, you know, a kid shoving dog poo in the letterbox or something. Except instead of dog poo, it's like a rag doll that comes to life. We've already had one join the family, and that's enough. Thank you. Just leave us alone. Socialize horses. What do horses socialize over? Oh, are they stuck? They're not very good animals at, you know, finding their way around. All this reversing and uh, turning on the spot. Getting caught in scenery. They're an inconvenient shape, I guess. 
they could and the programmers couldn't change the shape what shape a horse is really just to suit the game they're kind of stuck with it Gotta live with it. Oh, Regan should be painting. Painting. Wandered off mid work. Inexcusable. Speaking of work, oh no, he's only got five hours and not a very good mood. Come on, Bumblebee. Oh, he's got loads of lifetime points. Probably from all the kids and stuff. Um, what's important? Steel bladder. That's office hero. Co-workers will love hanging out with you. Um... Yeah, that might be a handy one to have. What's that professional slacker? Boss doesn't care if he slacks off. That's okay, I guess. But uh, he's got to be better. Um, opportunistic. Greater rewards and bonuses for opportunities. No, thank you. Professional Simoleon Booster. I might go back to that one. Carefree. Um. Born to cook. Perfect host. I think he needs to be... Durst Defiant will be handy. We'll have to bathe less. He can't give it up entirely, unfortunately, but um, it won't be as important to him. Oh no, baby alert. Oh, and this one's awake. Oh, go away, opportunities. I really should turn them off. Is he potty trained? No. So, why can't anyone have him potty? Potty train him as an action. Um... You can. No. At least feed him on the floor. Just feed him. Go on, quick. Oh, or go to work. Someone else will feed him then. Oh my god. Why is he in the pool? Why was that necessary? Someone feed the baby. Oh. He sims. Ah! Oh. They're just frustrating me quite a lot right 